I noticed our local ABC there, local, meaning the one at the end of the street. Uh, there's one at the other end of the street, and there's two in between. Uh, <laughs> they're just every few feet, there's an ABC store. But the one closest to my house now has a, uh, a security guard that's there all the time now, which is good. Because uh, when the sun goes down, it, it becomes a, a place of nonsense. Actually, the whole place, when the sun goes down, becomes a bit of a place of nonsense. But uh, crime isn't just, like, spiking here. It's spiking everywhere in the, on the mainland as well. As you expected, I guess, uh, considering everything else that's going on. My wife was just uh, wrapped up in watching those uh, Gen Z doesn't know anything videos. <laughs> where, like, the guy goes around, I know you've seen him. Uh, asking simple questions about like just where you live, what the name of the, your country is, uh, how to read a clock, and they can't do any of that. Um, the thing that, that struck me about it though, well, uh, the whole thing did, but is the way these younger people look. Uh, they look like um, people that would have been banished to the curse of the earth and Judge Dredd. Like they're all misshapen, uh, they're they're all overweight. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them are. But they're overweight in strange ways. Like they'll have a giant head, or their their arms don't look like they fit on their body. And this is all a uh, generation who is plunked in front of a TV and uh, fed frozen food, processed food. You know. Yeah, they look like crazy mutants, and I mean they don't know anything. It's fucking hilarious. She couldn't believe it. In the bathroom trying to do some stuff, you know. And every few minutes she's like, they asked him this. And they didn't know that. It's like, yeah, they don't know anything. They don't know anything except pop culture stuff. Sad state of affairs. But, uh, you know, again, it's not surprising with the way thing ever... Thing, everything else is going. Thing thought. Uh, uh, hi. The Kanye thing, man. Getting crazy. Well, it has been crazy. Uh, today, those he put those uh, text messages out between him and his handler, um, where he's threatening to send him back to uh, the Nut Hut and have him like medicated, drug, you know. And he mentioned something about how uh, his playtime with the kids would never be the same. Um, and people felt like, you know, yeah, they're going to send them there all drugged out or whatever. But I think there's a much darker implication there. You know, these people that are, are controlling him and control everything, uh, they're, they're Satan worshippers. And they're, they're very, very evil. And they're up to evil shit all the time. Um, so, the thing I learned, like, recently, is that, uh, which I didn't know about, they're trying to, to push this end times thing to bring back their Messiah, or, uh, their father, and everybody always dances around it, like, well, their, their Messiah isn't our Messiah, their father isn't our, but yeah, it's Satan, it's the guy from the Old Testament. It's the God of the Old Testament, it's, you know, whatever. But, uh, from, I'm still maintaining this is some kind of op. It has to be. You know, as I reiterate here all the time, none of it can be real or organic in any way, or else the whole system would collapse, it wouldn't work. Everything has to be fake. It's the shit quilt. So, um, it's more about just trying to figure out what, what, the, what the point is here. Uh, initially, I thought maybe they're just trying to show people to show their hand, and you know, because in recent years they've got, there's been more and more pressure on them, more and more criticism, and I think they, in an effort to try to get out ahead of it, uh, are they flexing a bit? Like, yes, we do run every day, and we are, you know. And if you try to do something to us, this is what can happen to you. But I think it's more than that, because that's a weird 
horse to let out of the barn. Because it's like you let a wild horse out of the barn and then you're gonna try to control the horse the whole way. Yeah. So I saw an Anon bring up something on the boards that uh, stuck out to me that I didn't know about their, their uh, prophecy about bringing the Messiah back so they can make us all their slaves and all sort of bullshit. Is that part of it is that they have to sacrifice um, a bunch of their own people. Now, as they talk about all the time, uh, they're not all in on this thing. There are different tiers of power, even among their own people. You know, like the ones I was friends with or known or, you know, in my lifetime, they're not, they're not doing the evil shit. They don't know a lot about it. I never found any kids in cages when I lived with them or anything like that. So it's like, those are the people I think they're going to throw under the bus. A way this could happen is um, that they let this pressure valve off and they let people see the level of control there is at these different you know, levels of society. So they allow people to see this. And then possibly um, allow people to get angry enough or to you know, build up a resistance to them enough so they can say, okay, well, that, that is true. We're, we've been the evil people controlling everything, but we're going to step down or we're going to clean up our act or we're going to get rid of the bad characters in our group. And then they would simply just have some symbolic uh, sacrifice gestures like they did with Harvey Weinstein to save the whole of Hollywood and the whole of the rest of them there. They'll let a couple guys who are supposedly in power or have some kind of influence they'll uh, have them have to, to pay for their uh, crimes as it were and an effort to try to say okay we got rid of the bad guys now you know now everything's cool and then you just go on doing what they've always done um, which is a possibility too it's interesting to watch though you know it, it gets it gets more interesting every day you know, seeing the extent of like, um, I mean, he, he's like someone had mentioned on the, on the boards, like he single-handedly uh, did more to uh, further the inspection uh, of the JQ than uh, years and years of poll combined. It's too, I don't know, it's just too... Um, It's too perfect. Like I'm, it's it's another one of these things. Like it can't be real. They wouldn't let someone get that power off the range unless they they wanted him to to prove some larger point. And I think that's what's happening. Whether it's to, to say, all right, well, we're gonna uh, root out, root out. Yeah, there we go, root out. We're gonna root out the bad guys in our group, and then they make like a, a sacrifice of the lower uh, people. Of the, the, the ones with less power, the ones like my friends will have to pay for it, you know, in some way, shape or form. Or it's just a flex to say, okay, we gotta let people know the extent of our control and this way no one will know, no one will try this again. And in that same way, they can um, set precedent over what you can and can't say, even to the extent of um, in the legal realm setting new laws so to keep them more protected. Um, another one though, I was saying something along those lines. I thought he had a pretty good possible idea of what it was where uh, they would use this to set up these uh, fake violent acts against them. You know, like the guy that goes around paying the swastikas on the side of the synagogue and then you find him and it's a rabbi. Like that type of thing. They set up uh, attacks on them sort of like what they did uh, during World War II. Like make this event uh, where they were being attacked and therefore they can then um, set all these laws or standards to protect them in the future. Saying, no, this can't happen again. Um, so it could be something like that. There's something going on. It's not exactly what you're seeing. Whether ye knows it or not, uh, I, I'm almost 100% certain He's uh, maybe a, 
being used in this way as, a, as an unwitting uh, part of this uh, exercise. But uh, every day, every day, I'm, <laughs> there's something else that challenges me because I, you know, like in, in light of this, uh, this personal trainer guy, they're revealing the power that he has over people. You know, he's a personal trainer to the stars and he has the ability to, uh, to drug people. Well, he's already doing that anyway. You know, as a personal trainer, he's control of people's food. He's a handler. He handles, you know, these kind of, his own group of probably celebrities. And like uh, he pointed out, he's like, I'm a very successful uh, musician who's uh, worth a lot of money. And a personal trainer is uh, controlling me. It's kind of weird. It's like, yeah. I think most people, even those... Uh, blue-pilled normies who just call everybody conspiracy theorists would have to you raise an eyebrow at this kind of thing. Like, why? yeah, why is he controlling him and all these people and threatening to basically lobotomize him? That, that's just, that's fucking evil. But then again, they worship Satan, Moloch, child sacrifice, the whole thing. So are they, uh, so there's a number of things they could be doing here, but I don't think any of it's organic. I mean, they don't allow organic things to happen. Interesting stuff. It's entertaining to follow, you know, if anything. Kind of like, uh, kind of like the, the end times as a whole. <laughs> it's entertaining to follow. You just got to make sure you uh, keep your head on straight, keep your sense of humor, and try to, uh, try to worry about just what uh, you can control, the people in your life. You know, your loved ones, you find it's up, man. And, um, and that kind of thing, you know, and uh, all this other macro stuff, you don't have much influence over. And uh, you can only watch and laugh. Don't blame a teacher, blame the school. <laughs>